everyone today i am talking about the importance of building an author publisher platform and um, this training is for you if you are really a member of the academy you're going to build, publish more than one book and you want to build an author platform so that you'll sell more books and um, if you're if you're not already doing that and I have lots of wonderful tips to share with you about why you should focus energy on this and not just the selling books aspect of your business, okay? So if that is you, this training is for you, all right? So um, I am, have got five top tips, okay? And I'm going to go through each one of them um, in detail and then we'll have a little chat at the end, okay? So... Why should you focus on building your author platform more so than putting the emphasis on the books? And the reason, the main reason why I, I encourage my authors to put energy into building an author platform is because books come and go, but you are your brand. You are, you are the, the thing that brings your readers to you. You are part of what your readers want as much as your books are. And I think, and I actually know, that building your author platform is the most um, productive thing that you can do. Your book is wonderful. You put energy into your book and putting it out into the world is an amazing, amazing thing. But I have seen and watched and witnessed and researched and those authors who put their energy into building their author profile or their publishing press profile are more successful in the long term okay so if this is something that you want this is the training you need to listen to for that okay okay so my first tip is focus your time energy and resources into making you the brand okay that represents your books okay whether that be as an author profile whether that be through your own little publishing press that represents you as an author or whether that be both okay so you are the you are the are the brand and your products are your tools for um, income okay so as well as your books you will may also be called to do speaking events. So by building your brand, building your author profile, you will increase your income, okay? It's it's it just works hand in hand, okay? So number two is manage your social media. Now being an author, you need time to write. Um Social media can consume a lot of time in a blink of an eye, okay? I know all about it. We all do, okay? So managing that is really important. And so that means going where, going, putting your time and energy into those areas that are going to have the most impact for you. And right now, okay, in July 2018, Instagram is the really the best one for you. Um, doing nice graphics on Canva, but also sharing... Um, real pictures and things like that, being inspirational on there. Um, recently, I've been getting a lot of followers on, on Instagram and maybe people are talking about me or some or things like that, but it just seems to be a consistent flow of people, Like, but you need to post regularly. I listened to, I actually attended a founder masterclass the other day and he, and he was talking about Instagram and how successful you can be on Instagram and one of the key things is to be consistent. If you're to do anything on Instagram, be consistent and try and find your, your style, okay? So number three is Go to where your target market is. Where are your readers? Okay, where are those people? Also, um, reaching out to organizations to let them know that you're available for speaking, that you have published books. B 
being present, okay, owning it right now. Um, so go to where your target market is, um, whether that be as a guest on a blog, if you're a romance author, connect with Osram, or if you're, um, you know, if, if you are, have written a non-fiction book, go to where those readers are, okay? Because once you start that ripple effect, then um, it's word of mouth that you want. You want people to read your book, talk about it, or even give it as a gift and things like that. So go to where your readers are, okay? Be present in those circles, okay? Um, number four, act how you would if you were a bestseller author, okay? It's, it's kind of a fake it till you make it kind of thing, and I don't like that saying. Um, it's, it's, it's more being it right now so that you will be it in the future. And it's a psychology thing. Um, if you believe that you are something and are willing to, to put the effort in to become something, then why not own it now? Why not create it in the now to be it in the future? Okay, so um, I'm very much um, have done this many, many times, and um, it's about being confident and owning it. And you should, you deserve to own it because if you're writing books and publishing them, then you have done a lot of the, the work. Okay, so you you deserve to um, to own it. So be it. Try and find, try and push back those inhibitions. Okay, you can do it. Okay, I have done it, and um, I have had really big issues with putting myself out there. I, I've done drama courses, intensive ones, for a whole year and things like that that helped me come out of my shell. So I learned strategies that worked for me. And every time you put yourself out there is one less time and one time closer to your goal, okay, of, of really being present, okay. So just do it incrementally. And just remember, the magic happens just outside of your comfort zone. I just, it totally does. So just push yourself a little bit. Don't dive in um, if, you're, if it makes you feel really uncomfortable. If you feel ready to, then yeah, go for it. Um, my big tip is to connect with your knowing and do what you need to do. Be guided by your knowing because it works for your highest potential. So if you trust and and to be guided through your knowing, then you will reach higher heights than anybody else because you will be doing things your way. And by setting the way that a knowing works is that you set the intention, okay? Then opportunities will come your way, or you will be in, have an inspired thought to pursue a, a certain um, goal or, or, or an opportunity, okay? So you will first get that feeling, that notion, that idea, okay? Then the next stage is to think about it, okay? And then the next stage is to work with your feeling and thinking about it and then take an action. So the thinking bit works with, is, is this aligned with my higher good, okay? Does this align with my purpose? And, and if the answer to that is yes and you're feeling it, then take the action to move forward. Because as you grow, these opportunities will come <laughs> come so fast and if you learn to now connect with that knowing um, now of what is right and what is aligned with your vision for, for success for you and where you're going then you will know unconditionally what to say yes to what's right for you and what to, what's a waste of time okay so you're going to be working forward to build your author platform because when you build your author platform that is you can propel and it's very successful from there, okay? So keep building upon that, building a beautiful foundation and then building up the platform upon that. And um, I'm going to use an example of one of our beautiful Serenity Press authors, Kate Forsyth. Well, Kate has worked really hard to build her profile, to educate herself and to write her books. She puts a lot into that. She lives, lives it every day. Now, she has been doing this for many years, and her books are successful. As soon as she um, puts a call out, people buy her books. She has built her author platform. That's what I, the kind of mindset that I want you guys to get into, because if you do that, then, and there's so many other successful authors, but it's if you put energy, 
time and resources into building your author platform, that's where your long-term future success resides, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Okay, I hope that you really enjoyed my five top tips. They will be in a little um, graphic after um, I close up. But I hope that you've enjoyed them and that you learned from them. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment um, below or, um, or reach out within the Everything Publishing Academy group. I would love to hear from you um, and let me know. Until next time, thank you. Bye.